I did a video some time ago when it comes to Battlefield 1, since I wanted to go back and play one of the older Battlefield titles that I enjoyed to play, but also since the Battlefield games was on a sale, so you could buy one BF title for only around like 4 to 5 euros or and dollars. I therefore also wanted to play some Battlefield 5 in order to see and feel how it plays now towards the end of 2023. A bit of a follow-up video, you might say, since I did do about the same regarding BF5 already back in April this year. Because thanks to sales, like the one mentioned on Steam, new players have found their way into the older Battlefield titles, so the player count has gone up. I wouldn't be surprised if there's quite a few veterans, meaning guys that did put down quite some time into games such as BF5, that also has found their way back into the game. As you may see, if we just take a look at the Steam charts, there was an increase of players, a growth you might say, starting already in October. And the last two months has been pretty wild, with a 73% growth of players both when it comes to November and December. Nice to see. It also shows that there's been around 28k players on average the last 30 days, and a peak of players that lands around the 114k players mark. Not too bad for a 5 year old game also shows that it might be a good idea for developers and publishers to once in a while have these kind of sales. Guess it can be a kind of a win-win situation, both for players that finally might be able to afford the game and play it, but also extra cash for the ones behind the actual game. It becomes even more impressive when looking at stats that shows how many that are playing the game across all platforms available for Battlefield 5, plus 39k players when I was making this video at that very moment and hour. But how come that BF5 has reached these numbers recently? Especially since the release was a bit poor back in 2018. I believe that the competition was hard back in 2018. It was also not an easy task to follow up titles such as BF1 and BF4. Add to that also Battlefield 5 launch was riddled with problems such as buggy gameplay and slow servers. With that said, I was one of those guys that wasn't too impressed when the game launched back in 2018, also busy playing other games at that point of time. As said, there was other games and titles that was out about the same time as BF5. For example, a big Battle Royale title such as PUBG that was already established being released in 2017. Black Ops 4 was released in 2018, showing off their first attempt also of a Battle Royale game called Blackout. Far Cry 5 was also released in 2018 alongside with Destiny 2 Forsaken that boosted the numbers for Destiny 2 that was released already in 2017. It also became partly worse for Battlefield 5 when DICE and EA decided to stop supporting both BF5 and Battlefront 2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 that is. They needed all hands on deck and focus for the upcoming Battlefield 2042 game but it was also most likely due to the fact that you know, BF5 was getting quite a lot of negative response and comments at that time. But back to 2023 and the recent growing player count, I believe that BF5 isn't a bad Battlefield game, although it isn't my favorite one. So it might also be so that it has been standing the test of time pretty well as a game and can therefore compete with some of the newer games out there and do well in a comparison, even though it doesn't have any support any longer. Meaning a somewhat good game is always a good game and people can usually tell. Battlefield 5 is also fairly new compared to BF1 and BF4, which can also explain why it has more average players and peak daily concurrent players than both BF1 and BF4 combined. But is it worth to buy and play BF5 now, especially since there's no more support, which means no more new content in the game? Well, there's still plenty of content already in the game, especially if you are someone that also like to play both single player and multiplayer. So there's definitely player value in there, especially if you're able to get BF5 on a sale. Because I'm not sure if I would pay around 50 bucks for Battlefield 5 in 2023, so keep your eyes open for a good sale. Maybe it'll happen again during Christmas. Hopefully that's the case. However, even though I have enjoyed coming back to BF5 now and also when I made my recent BF5 video back in April, there is one thing, you might call it the elephant in the room, that has to be mentioned when it comes to the negative side of things regarding BF5 and that is cheaters. It was quite some time ago since I encountered so many cheaters in an online game, especially when playing a game for just a day in order to get the footage for a video and at the same time encountering cheaters in every other game that I joined. 
It could be one cheater, it could be two or even three sometimes, but there was a lot of them, which is very unfortunate. After some time, I was more busy reporting cheaters when trying to play the game instead of actually playing it. You can see some of the text chat conversation that occurred during one of the matches regarding the problem. It was often also quite blatant cheaters, meaning pretty easy to spot, usually just by looking at their score on the scoreboard. They were most likely using aim hack, but some could also make or force players to just die in order to redeploy. Yes, this is a problem in the game, even more now than I experienced back in April when I last played the game. And since the game no longer is supported, I've said it so many times now, then many of these guys can go on doing what they're doing, although I do have to give cred to a lot of the players in the servers that took their time to report these players. Very often they actually left the game. But that leads me also to my final conclusion and saying, BF5 can definitely be worth your time at the end of 2023, but be aware of the problems mentioned when it comes to cheaters. Which also leads me to say, make sure to get the game on a sale if you consider to buy and play it. Then it might also be worth your money as well, not only your time. Since the game no longer has support and as mentioned is infested by quite a few cheaters as well. At least the day when I played it. With that said, I would like to hear from you when it comes to your thoughts regarding Battlefield 5. Is it a game you've played or are you still playing it? If so, what's your overall thoughts and impressions when it comes to a game that has almost got a bit of a renaissance, you might say, about five years after its release, at least when we look into how many people that are currently playing the game? So, with that said, have a beautiful day, and if you're celebrating Christmas, then I want to take the opportunity to say Merry Christmas to you all, and I hope you have a good time with family and friends, and I'll talk to you soon again in another video. Bye-bye.